that any equation containing the ratio of the changing one variable uh, with respect to another could be a differential equation. To next we will see an example of a differential equation. Uh, this is example the differential equation. Uh, in the previous equation we see unknown functions, uh, this function and or derivative uh, is that is will Three to solve it in the itself. Um, we will try to reduce to equation to identify uh, the study of the differential equation has three main goals. Uh, goals uh, discover the differential equation, the describe to describe a specific situation, uh, find the appro appropriate uh, solution to that equation interpret uh, the solution fun um, usefulness of the differential uh, equation has been mentioned uh, about the differential equation uh, are very useful uh, in fields of uh, science or uh, engineering after used through description of reality really about uh, given behavior Classification of differential equation. These are classified, classified in different ways, and then we talk about them. Classification by type. There are two types of differential equation: ordinary and partial. Ordinary differential equation are those that contain the derivative of one or more dependent variables with respect to a single independent variable has this one partial equation are those that contain the derivative of one or more dependent variables with respect to more than one independent variable how are you others? classification B your order the classification B order is that which is made to the differential equation with respect to its greater derivative that it is if the great derivative is this or in the form of a premium and a second order. If your major derivative is three times a derivative, then it's third order and so and summary, the order is determined with the function that has to be derivative more times all differential equations of second order for work are considered higher order. Examples are the following are this. Linear classification. Differential equations are classified with their linearity into linear and non-linear. Linear differential equations are ordinary differential equations in which the dependent variable and its derivative appear adequately in first degree power. The linear differential equations are expressed to follow with this. For a differential equation to be aligned, it must meet the following requirements the dependent variable and all its derivative must be first grade, that is, them, they must be raised to 1. Remembering that we show no confuse ordered with grade, the coefficient of a0, a1 to am of g g prime to g m dependent at most on the independent variable x. A differential equation is non-linear when its cycle is not linear. 
to be quieted if the above requirements are not met, it can be said that it's not linear to follow shows an example of non-linear differential equation. But is that? And that's all. It is our all that classification. What is a solution? A solution a differential equation is that when b b replacing its unknown function or corresponding differential equation converts that equation into identity. In more formal language, a solution of that equation in the interval is any function non-zero defined in the interval i and which has n continuous derivatives with when subtitled in an ordinary differential equation in r ordinary we obtain to identity that reduces the equation to identity general specific and unique solution the solution of equation differential is can be can be classified can be classified in different ways when we have a uh, one or more arbitrary constants, it's called general solution. From from the general solution, solution with specific values are assigned. Arbitrary constant is called a specific solution. When we when we cannot be obtained the solution without the method, the general method, or the specific method. It's called unique method, unique unique solution. Hello, I will explain the different types of solution to a differential equation. The solution of the differential equations are divided mainly into explicit and implicit solutions. Then I will explain each one and give you an example. Explicit solution. An explicit solution is one in which the dependent variable is expressed only in terms in terms of the independent variable and the constants or in a few words is one where the dependent variable is clear. Here is an example. The function, this function is the solution of the ordinary differential equation. This is the differential equation. To resolve this problem, we have to derive this function. This is the result to this is the result of the derivative of this function. Now we only have to simpli simplify this result. As you can see, this term is equal to the first function, so we have to replace replace it.
and this is the result of our differential equation. Another type of solution to differential equation So, integrate this differential equation, we have to integrate both, both sides. Now we have to solve this integral. In this step, we have, we only have to simpli simplify this result. Now we we don't know this the value of the constant but we have these initial values using these initial values we have we can we can know this value We only have to to clear the constant to obtain its value. Here we have the value of the constant. The finally, we only have to replace it on the function. And this is the result of the differential equation. Now I am going to explain the implicit solution. An implicit solution is a relationship between dependent and independent variables that implicitly defines a function that 
is an explicit solution. So demonstrate that the function is the implicit solution of a differential equation. The solution must be delivered implicitly. For example, in this, this problem says show that this function is an implicit solution of the, the, of the differential equation and this is the differential equation to resolve it we have to derive implicitly And this is an implicit solution of the differential equations. 